cock cross buns. Place 300 milliliters of whole milk into a saucepan and add in 50 grams of diced butter. Place it over the heat and warm it through until the butter just melts. Take it immediately off the heat and leave it to cool for 10 minutes. Next, place 500 grams of bread flour into a mixing bowl and add in 50 grams of caster sugar, followed by one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and half a teaspoon of mixed spice. Mix those ingredients together and make a well in the center. Then place seven grams of fast action yeast on one side and a teaspoon of salt on the other. Crack one egg into the center and just break it up a little bit before pouring in the milk and butter mixture. Mix everything together to form a dough and then place it onto a floured workbench. This will be quite a sticky dough, so don't be afraid to add a little bit more flour if you need to, but the more you knead the dough, the less sticky it will become. You'll need to knead the dough for... You'll need to knead... <laughs> you'll need to knead... You'll need to knead the dough for... <laughs> knead the dough for five to 10 minutes until it becomes nice and smooth and it doesn't stick to your hands anymore. Shape the dough into a ball and then place it back into the mixing bowl. Cover with a clean, damp cloth when you're kneading the dough, that's the perfect time to add in any flavors that you like. So that could be chopped fruit, chocolate chips, candied peel, uh, fudge, chopped dates, anything that you want to flavor it with. But I'm leaving them plain today because I want to serve it as a sandwich. Place your dough in a nice warm place to rise. After one hour, take the dough out of the bowl and divide it into 12 equal portions. You can do this on some scales, and if you do, it needs to weigh around 80 grams per hot cross bun. Shape the hot cross buns into balls. And place onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Press each dough ball down firmly with your hand, and then cover with a clean damp cloth and leave to rise for one more hour. Next, we're going to make the mixture for our cross on the hot cross buns. And to do that, place 50 grams of bread flour into a mixing bowl with 20 grams of caster sugar and 40 to 50 milliliters of water. And then whisk it together until it's smooth. You want this to be quite a thick paste. Place it into a piping bag, ready to use later. After one hour, your hot cross bun should be fully risen. And now we need to apply the cross. So cut off the end of your piping bag and then just go from one end to the other in one line over each of the hot cross buns and then back along the opposite way. Place your hot cross buns into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius fan for 30 minutes. If you notice that the cross isn't showing very well, it's probably because the mixture was a little bit too thin like mine. So halfway through the cooking process, I whipped up another batch with slightly less water in. I'd originally put 60 grams so I've reduced that down to 40 to 50 grams. So you should get it just about right. And then I quickly went over them again and they've come out really well this time and nice and pronounced on the surface. I think they look great. To make the glaze, place 50 milliliters of milk into a saucepan and then add in 20 grams of honey. Stir it over low heat until the honey dissolves. Bring it to a simmer and immediately take it off the heat. Brush your glaze all over your hot cross buns as soon as they come out the oven while they're still nice and hot. There's lots of other glazes you can use for this. You can just warm up a little bit of apricot jam or marmalade. That looks really good, nice and shiny. But I quite like this, just milk and honey. Or you can use milk and sugar as well. 